Dear video students, welcome back into my another video. Hope you are all doing well and hope you are practicing for your subject 18 math 31. So in the previous videos we have discussed the problems on uh, 0 to 2 pi minus pi to pi interval. So today I have the question uh, half range cosine series and intervals are given as 0 to 1. These are intervals in the problem or simply they will give you like this one x is greater than 0 less than 1 okay it is the same thing that is intervals are 0 to 1 so it is in general 0 to l interval so l can be 1 2 3 4 but here we have l value as 1 okay so l i can write down as 1 now we have the cosine half range series as f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity a n cos of n phi x by l this is the half range cosine series you have to remember and make sure you will write these formulas on one a4 page so that you will be easily remembering the formulas from Fourier series so this we have half range cosine series now we can find out these Fourier coefficients a naught value and a n value once we will get these values then we have to put those values in this particular equation so that that will be the, the required Fourier series so we have to calculate now a naught value and a n value a naught is equal to we have the formula 2 by 2 by l integration of 0 to l f of x dx a naught is equal to 2 divided by what is the l value 1 so 2 by 1 integration of 0 to l instead of l we have to take 1 and f of x what is the given function 2x minus 1 so 2x minus 1 and dx right so a naught is equal to 2 divided by 1 is 2 0 to 1 integration of 2x minus 1 what is the integration of uh, 2x so i can simply write down bracket start integration of 2x is nothing but 2x square divided by 2 minus 1 dx integration is x okay and limits will shift from 0 to 1 now a naught is equal to 2 this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out okay we are left with x square minus 1 sorry x square minus x 0 to 1 is the interval so a naught is equal to 2 now you can apply upper limit lower limit so upper limit is 1 so 1 square minus 1 minus lower limit is 0 so that will be 0 term so a naught is equal to 2 this is 1 minus 1 is 0 so it will become 0 and a naught is equal to 2 into 0 is 0 so a naught value we are getting 0 over here now we have to calculate this Fourier coefficient that is a n value so now I can write down here a n is equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x cos of n pi x by l this is the standard formula for a n now you can use uh, Bernoulli's rule of integration now first of all just put down f of x value which is the given function 2 divided by l means instead of l we have to take one value 0 to 1 f of x is nothing but 2x minus 1 which is the given function and cos of n pi x divided by l instead of l we have to take 1 so it is n pi x no need to write down the 1 over here so n dx now you can use Bernoulli's Bernoulli's rule of integration we will get this is 2 what is the Bernoulli's rule of integration 2x minus 1 you have to take as it is so 2x minus 1 as it is integration of cos that is sine of n pi x divided by constant value that is n pi you can write down in the bottom sine n pi x divided by n pi is the integration of cos of n pi x then minus differentiation of this term so what is the differentiation of 2x so x differentiation is 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 so differentiation of 2x is 2 and minus differentiation of 1 is 0 so no need to write 0 over here and integration of again this term integration of sine is minus cos of n pi x by n pi square n square pi square so integration of sine of n pi x divided by n pi is minus cos of n pi x by n square pi square now can we differentiate this two further no so we will stop up to this and limits will shift from 0 to 1 okay so now you have to put down the upper limit so sine of n pi into x you are putting 1 so n pi it will become sine of n pi so this term will become 0 as in the previous videos also I have told you sine of n pi is always equal to 0 we are getting after putting the limits we are getting sine of n pi into 1 is sine of n pi it will become 
0 over here. Now what we are left with 2 into minus into minus is plus. So 2 cos of n pi x divided by n square pi square and limits will be 0 to 1 which is equal to 2 into 2 is 4 then we are left and this n square pi square we will just take out n square pi square we are left with cos of n pi x 0 to 1 so which is equal to 4 divided by n square pi square which is equal to uh, now apply limit so cos of n pi into 1 cos of n pi into 1 is cos of n pi minus cos of n pi into 0 that is cos of 0 so we will get 4 divided by n square pi square is equal to cos of n pi it is the formula sorry this is bracket here cos of n pi is the formula minus 1 raised power n minus 1 cos of 0 is nothing but 1 this is the value for a n over here now we have to put this value in the required series what was the required series f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity n cos of n by x by l i can write down here f of x is equal to a naught value a naught value we are getting is 0 so no need to write this simply we can write down summation of n running from 1 to infinity a n value a n value we have calculated this one 4 divided by n square pi square i can take 4 by pi square out 4 by pi square i have taken out and n square i will get inside so i can write down 1 divided by n square and this value minus 1 raised power n minus 1 minus 1 raised power n minus 1 this is your required Fourier series for this particular question that is half range cosine series hope you have understood this question make sure you will share this video to all those friends who are having backlogs in 18 mat 31 thank you